Good morning. So I have an article here that uh, from AP, uh, I think somebody else originally did the article. But nonetheless, uh, it is a, a subject that I have covered uh, several times and something that I have been very outspoken about uh, for going on a couple of decades at this point. Uh, when I saw the problem start, see, I'm not one of those people that just want to ignore everything that's wrong for whatever reason people want to ignore it, whether they're too lazy to fix it, too dumb to fix it, not motivated enough, whatever the case may be. I'm not that guy. In fact, I cannot stand people that are like that. You see a problem, you fix it. You fix the problem. You don't ignore it. You don't just keep walking past. Well, long ago, again, edging up on a couple of decades at this point, I had started warning people about an alarming trend that I was seeing in the school systems. And that alarming trend was integrating law enforcement more and more into the school systems. In fact, it got to the point to where they didn't even look like schools anymore. They looked like prisons in many cases. And are the students any safer? No, that's been proven time and time again. No. But one thing is for certain, they have gained more and more control over children over the past two decades. I have made comments many times before on this show how frustrated that it made me to read about an incident to where, let's say, uh, there was force used on a child. Uh, let's say it was an unreasonable amount of force because Lord knows that that's happened plenty of times. And... Sometimes the students would stage a, a walkout or some type of protest as to what went on. It was what I didn't see there that was so concerning to me. Out of all of the school walkouts, the you know student protests, out of all of them that I've watched, and I try to catch as many of them as I can when this stuff goes on because I look for this stuff. I'd never seen any parents. I'd never seen any parents. And it was just like the parents are just shrugging it off. <laughs> Let's just let adults beat up on kids. And it highly frustrated me then. And I kept warning and I kept warning and I kept warning. The amount of control at this point that the United States government has over your children and their lives is pretty much complete. Pretty much complete. You know, there was a lot of back and forth about the Obamacare bill and all of that. <clears throat> and largely, and this is, by the way, this is why I cannot stand Republicans and Democrats. Because you'll get them two sides bickering back and forth. Neither one of them are talking the truth. Neither one of them are doing anything other than spewing the talking points given to them by their masters. They can't even imagine going outside of the box on anything. Their masters didn't tell them to. And... When all the back and forth was on Obamacare, I kept raising my hand up and asking, what about this? What about this? What about this? Nobody would talk about it. Why? Again, their masters didn't give them that talking point. But one of the things that the Obamacare bill did was essentially give control over your children to the government. No, they didn't know that. You better read it. Has your child ever, on any level, 
been help for any type of, of uh, mental situation, depression, whatever it may be, fear, it, it, it doesn't matter, anger, doesn't matter, anything, anything. Because what you may not be aware that the Obamacare bill in, contained was that, and this goes for children and adults, technically anybody that's ever been treated for any type of mental anything, pretty much a word of the state. Go read it. I was bitching about it then. There's a reason I'm so frustrated lately. It's because the shit that I was warning about two decades ago is coming to light now. And people just shrugged me off two decades ago when I was warning about it. And now when I warn about tomorrow, same response. Same response. But yet, they will go and spend countless hours of time listening to content from alarmists that have nothing to offer them of value. We can't fix anything if we are ignoring it. So this article, and I'm definitely not going to read it. It's a long article. I will absolutely leave the link in the description and the first comment. Um, feel free to read the article. Now this article is really um, kind of focusing and around, uh, focusing around on a uh, on a particular school system, uh, the Wicomico County, if I'm saying that even remotely right, uh, on Maryland's eastern shore. So what they're saying is three times a week on average, cop car pulls up, students brought out in handcuffs, they're put in the car and taken to the hospital emergency room for a psychiatric evaluation. It says here over the past eight years, the process has been used at least 750 times on students. Some are as young as five years old says the state law um, that allows for these removals, known as Petitions for Emergency Evaluation, is meant to be limited to people with severe mental illness who are endangering their own lives or safety of someone else's. It's the first step toward getting someone involuntary, involuntarily committed to a psychiatric hospital. That says, but advocates say schools across the country are sending children to the emergency room for psychiatric evaluations in response to behaviors prompted by bullying or frustration over assignments. The ER trips, they say, often follow months and sometimes years of their needs not being met. And then, of course, they try to, you know, bring the race issue into it, saying that the black students are... are more frequently subjected to the removals. Um, it's 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 mind blowing and and like I say, it's a very long article. The truth of the matter is, folks, is the first thing, and I, and you know I've I've said this from the get go. If we expect any change in this nation, it starts in our hearts and in our homes. It has to start in our hearts and our homes. We cannot fix this problem sitting back on our asses waiting on somebody else to fix it because nobody else is coming to fix it. Parents need to get the control back over their children. And, and I mean that not only in a legal sense, but also in a, in a behavioral sense. Parents need to stop trying to be best friends with their kids. Parents need to stop enabling the mental illness that is afflicting their children. It's not a surprise that parents aren't out there today to support their children when the children are having whatever done to them. It's not surprising because most of the these days' parents, today's parents, they're out for themselves. 
how many children these days get raised by a grandparent for no other reason other than mom and or dad hadn't grown up enough to 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 raise them I've been down that road. Of course, being a male, and especially in the state of Illinois, but being a male, oh no, there's no possible chance that I could raise a child. So I was just thrown out by my gender alone. Fun, huh? Again, I can't get anybody to want to do anything. Nobody wants to do anything on any of this stuff. And and then people just want to complain about how bad it is. When are you going to help fix it? Because I've been sitting here for two decades now. Two decades now. Warning about what they were doing with the children. I'm done being ignored. I am done being ignored I hope more men out there find their testicles because we could sure use the help I'll leave the link down there parents not supposed to be a best friend with their child a parents not supposed to enable a child when when what they are seeking is not right is not accurate or is not good is not wholesome it's the whole point of being a parent to guide your child so that when they become an adult they can live a proper productive lifestyle what we have going on right now in this country is just the opposite the parents are absolutely destroying any chance that their children would possibly have because of their idealism. How about the idea of common sense? How about the idea of people actually getting off their ass to do something? How about the ideal of not pandering to a political party to fix your problems? How about taking upon yourself some real responsibility for change? Shalom.